This here is my uh, great uncle Pat, um, who I admire a lot. He's been uh, influential in, in kind of bringing me and my whānau back into connection with our Waikato roots. Um, so um, he has a lot of mana, he's kaumatua for our marae. And um, it just, in terms of the art and the photography, just um, for me it was personal because it, it created a connection for, for me, not just to him, but to my wider whānau. And, um, so that alone was cool, um, and then to, you know to be awarded or to be um, the inaugural winner is just overwhelming, to be honest. Faka Papa and Fano isn't for some time it's just been names on a piece of paper, but you know I lost my granddad in, in 2008. It's a long time ago, and this is his uncle. So it's an, it's a he's an opportunity to learn about you know who my granddad was, but also to learn to hear his story and how we all um, connect together. So this has just given me an opportunity to stand side by side with so many amazing Māori artists um, for uh, um, something that's so special. And I can imagine it's the same for, for all of them because it's involving whānau and our tūpuna. I think the combinations of the stories were very interesting. In fact, there's a few works which are about people trying to make connections too and trying to, to find that place for themselves. So it was very broad. We, we wanted to not lock it down, but just really respond to um, what was coming towards us. In some ways we're looking at European traditions with some of the painted um, imagery because that, that was something that came into our, our aesthetic. But then of course there's kōrawai, kākahu, um, you know it's a very, very broad thing and so what, what we were excited about is those sort of little aha moments, you know, you're not quite sure what it is that it's going to be. One of the things that we were joking about last night is after the doors close, all these people will be looking across at each other and chatting. <laughs> so you really get that sense. It's the building itself, uh, the, um, the National Portrait Gallery, is like a funny, and so it feels very, it feels like a wonderful launching of this new award for us here at home. I'm overwhelmed by the calibre of art. I'm overwhelmed by the response from just about every iwi and hapu across the country. I'm overwhelmed by just the stories of the tupuna. Uh, it's just, and, and the artists agreeing to share the stories of their tupuna. Because it, having your mokopuna tell a story of a tupuna just adds so much more. So the Kings for Kaoru was actually our lessons come from our past, our teachings come from our past. And everyone that was submitted has their own story. They've had to uh, carry uh, the weight of their whānau, of their hapu and of their iwi in their time. And it's actually an awesome example for us as we move into a post-COVID uh, sort of situation or context that we can do anything because our tūpuna have already trod the path.